from High Tech Legion, and we're going to take a look at Total Media Theater 5 by ArcSoft, and it's going to be used in conjunction with the new Intel Ivy Bridge processor, and we're going to show basically the playback for this processor with its new 4000 graphics uh, onboard graphics. It has an internal uh, graphics on the processor now, same die, and it is DirectX 11. The reason why I like to use ArcSoft is because I like to watch a lot of regular DVDs and what it does is it upconverts them for me, which is a good thing because then I get to watch them in, I guess you could say, uh, virtual HD. So let's go ahead and we're going to keep an eye on a couple things, of course, frames per second, which is going to be up in your left hand side. We're going to look at our CPU usage. We're also going to look at a simulation HD and we'll look at our hardware acceleration mode. And then after that, I'm going to go ahead and take a look at uh, Heaven 3.0, the DirectX 11 benchmark and show you that uh, now, since it is DirectX 11, we could go ahead and run some uh, some apps in DirectX 11 to take advantage of direct compute, tessellation, and other things like that. So getting started, we'll go ahead and start playing this. And I'll lower the volume. Right now we're just looking at it, at it in regular mode. We're getting 60 frames a second. SimHD is off and hardware acceleration is on. Now if we go ahead and take a look up to our left hand side where it says CPU usage, you'll notice that we're using you know roughly anywhere from 4 to maybe 11 percent at times. It might spike at 11 percent, but you're gonna you're gonna basically stay around 4 or 3 percent on your uh, CPU usage. This is basically being generated by the hard by the hardware which is the which the which is the onboard video. We'll go ahead and shut off the hardware acceleration and we'll turn it SimHD on. Now what this is doing is uh, actually up converting this from regular 400 to uh, to 1080i. So it's up converting it to an HD. As you can see the left hand side is a little bit more grainy. I, I understand this is a video so you might not be able to see it clearly as I can but the left hand side is a little bit more grainy than the right hand side. We have very good playback. Of course we're showing 60 frames a second on there. You're actually going to get 30 frames a second once I shut off the uh, once I shut off the side by side, but basically the reason why you're getting 60 frames, you're getting 30 on each side. So we'll go ahead and go to regular mode. And of course it's going to make a liar out of me. Tested this three times. <laughs> I was getting 30 frames a second, but in any case. We're getting full motion playback. It's being up converted by SimHD. If you see the, uh, the CPU uh, usage, you can see that even without the hardware acceleration, you're still getting minimal CPU usage while you're, while you're doing this. So we'll go back and turn the side by side on. Oh, shut it off again. There we go. Side by side, as you can see, you might be able to see this a little bit better since it is a, uh, it's I guess a cartoon, but it does do it a little bit better. Uh, you can see the clarity a little bit more in the video and of course the CPU usage is still down. Now turning back on the hardware acceleration mode, that's where we're going to get the true play, I'm sorry. As you can see, now we're getting 24 frames a second, we're getting the hardware acceleration, and we're getting smooth playback. Alright, now that we've looked at that, let's go ahead and show you some DirectX 11 usage. We'll bring up Heaven, turn on some tessellation, 
bring the ANSI trophy down to two, maybe two on the AA. Shut full screen off so I can actually show you what's going on. And we'll run it at 1024 by 768. So it'll take a couple seconds to load. But you will see that it is definitely running tessellation because what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop it and then I'm going to run it in DirectX 10 mode. Now, this is where you know that you're running in DirectX 11. As you can see the rocks here, they're not flat. You have some shadows coming off the rocks. If you look at the, uh, the roofs, they're not very flat. Since we only have moderate tessellation, of course, they're, they're barrel roofs. Once you add more tessellation to it, you're going to get a better uh, generation of of the you know the the differences in the barrels etc so you turn down tessellation more you're going to get a flatter look you turn it up of course you're going to get all the eye candy that you want so as you can see it's running at about 13 14 frames a second at 1024 by 768 We'll go ahead and end the benchmark real quick. We'll shut the anti-aliasing off. Go ahead and run this at in HD. Where's 720? There we go, 720p. And you'll notice that we could also run this in HD and get you know, some decent frame, frame rates. Okay. Now let's go ahead and switch it to DirectX 10 mode. And I'll show you the difference. Okay, if you look at the street here, you'll notice that the rocks in the street, they're not raised, there's no shadows. If you look at the building, you'll notice that the uh, barrel roofs are a lot flatter. So there's your difference to show you that this, is, this is a DirectX 11 onboard video now. It's not DirectX 10 anymore, and it does work, and you can actually get decent frame rates and an HD quality at 1280 by uh, 720p. Thank you very much. For the full review, please visit www.hightechlegion.com. That has been our quick look of ArcSoft Total Media Theater using the Ivy Bridge platform and also running a benchmark with tessellation on in DirectX 11 with that same processor with their onboard graphics. Stay thirsty, my friends. Bye-bye. Thank you.